We're going to make some bows today. The first one we're going to do is going to be a little bit larger bow and it's made with the wire ribbon. This makes it really easy to do bows. For these, I, I just take an old piece of cardboard and use that, make it the size I want. Your loops are going to be approximately half the size of the cardboard, so figure out what size you want that to be. So, and we're going to wrap this. I always wrap it in even number and usually eight because I like a lot of loops on my bows. So that's two, three, four, five, six. This one's going to be a little bit smaller. It's only going to be six because it wasn't a full ribbon. But that's okay. We take this off, slide it off your cardboard. Don't lose your ends, because you're gonna take those two ends and you're gonna fold them together. And then you've got your two loose ends. Now the next thing we're gonna do is you're gonna take your ribbon and in the center, you're going to cut part way through and it's hard with the wire, part way through this way. And then from this side, so that you've got a V. You've got cuts on both sides. And you're gonna take a piece of ribbon, a little curly ribbon, and you're gonna run that through those cuts. So you've got it in the cuts. Then you're going to pull this as tight as you can get it because you want to pull that center together and tie it in a knot. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to move these out of the way. We're going to start in the center. You're going to pull your first one to the top and you're going to twist it. And the next one twist it, same thing, twist, 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 and always remember to give that last one a twist so that it doesn't pop back into this one. And we'll come over to this side and do the same thing, twist, 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 you'd think we were dancing. This and twist that one. Now you grab your curling ribbon again so you've got the back of the bow and now you're going to start shaping your bow. Pull your two loose pieces down and out of the way and hang on to those also. And now you take your wire and just bend that so that they're nice and fluffy and they fill in everywhere. And then let your two loose ones free again. And you can leave these different lengths or you can trim them off so that they're nice and pretty at an angle like that. And voila, you got yourself a big bow for a nice big basket that you might be putting together uh, for Mother's Day or whatever. And you can just keep moving these around until you got it the way you want it. 